Hello everyone, you are welcome in Chile's restaurant. My name is Andrew. I am a trainer in the art department and F&B, which means food and beverage service. Today, we are going to learn a module which is called Bar and Restaurant Mise en Place. The Bar and Restaurant Mise en Place have, have many activities, but today I prefer to, to teach you or to train you session which is called Table Setup. A table setup is made in the mise en place before hosting your guests. As you see, as you know, as you know, you have to be prepared before hosting your customer and providing service. Uh, this module or this ser session has a module objectives. Objective number one, dear students, after the session, trainee, tra trainee will be able to first to differentiate table dot menu cover from cut menu cover. You can't set a table without knowing the difference between table dot and cut menu cover. Second is to differentiate tableware. When we say tableware, we mean all those equipments or tools or utensils used for a setting table. Those Tableware are helping to the guest to take his meal or his beverage or his food. So, this, the next is forming laws and the table layout before table setup. Forming law means to arrange tables as well as chair in a way it attracts your customers. Uh, Next is set a table according to the menu as activity of today. You will be able to, to set a table. Tableware in food and beverage service, as I have said, tableware consists of crockeries, cutleries, glassware, and linen used in a restaurant. These are circulating equipments which can be grouped into the following types. Scroll down. Chinaware. When we say Chinaware, we mean those equipments made into ceramic substance, like plates, like saucer, like bowls, but which are made into ceramic substance. When we say Hollowware, Hollowware also is are those kind of containers, including boards, including saucer, including sauce board, and many. Uh, it look like chinaware, or it's made from other kind of metal like silver or bronze. Uh huh. Then. Silverware. When we say silverware, are those set of equipments or tools or utensils we use, which are made into silver metal, like this, is made from silver. It's called silverware because of a element which is composed that this knife. Cutleries. Dear student, when we say cutleries, we mean those equipments a guest, which help to the guests for consuming his or her meal. Like forks, like knives, like uh, spoons, and others are cutleries. Yes, scroll down. Aha, uh -huh. set of cutleries. In the hotel and the restaurant, we have many types of cutleries, but today I prefer to show you some of them. Observe that picture there on projector. 
there are some examples of cutleries when we you move from left to the right means from fork to the spoon we have those kinds of cutleries we have first fork is called fish fork is a special one which used for consuming or take a fish second is called a sweet fork or small fork sweet fork is used by customer for consuming a sweet course or dessert we have also the tall one fork which is tall rather than those forks is called joint fork joint fork or a dinner fork it is used by customer for consuming uh, the main meal or main course i think you remember three courses that compose a meal we have starter we have main course also we have dessert uh -huh. you see that knife which is special that one look like a fish is called fish knife is used by customer for consuming a fish we have other kind of knife which is called side knife side knife or bread knife is that knife in the center which help which used by guests for spreading the bread it goes with a side bread so we have also the tall one knife which is called joint or dinner uh, dinner knife is is used by customer for consuming a many course many course also we have kinds of spoons from right from left to the right we have a uh, first is called coffee spoon is used for coffee we have second is teaspoon is used for tea third is called soup spoon is special one as you see is different totally different from other kinds of spoon is used by, by customer for consuming a soup we have a next spoon next spoon which is called a sweet sweet spoon or dessert spoon is used by customer for consuming a dessert we have the last one which is called table spoon it can use by for any purpose yes scroll down we have grassware when we mean grassware we have to mean all kinds of grass but i emphasize on those three grass because people are confused by those kind of grass the first grass which is big like than other is called red wine grass is used by, by customer for consuming or for drink a red wine the the grass which is in the center is called white grass white wine grass white wine grass is used for consuming a white wine we have also champagne or fruit grass fruit grass is tall one which is used for serving a champagne yes you can scroll down let me show the difference between table dot and arcad menu table dot table dot is a menu where a meal is combined with number of food options from each course but arcad menu is multiple co courses or multiple category menu that comes with appetizer starter and seafood yes scroll down 
by characteristic or by feature we have difference between table dot and arcat menu remember i have told you where the last time that uh, for table dot menu the menu has a fixed number of course but for arcat menu the choice is generally more extensive means a customer can make his choice uh, there is a limited choice within each course for table dot menu there is limited choice within each course you consume the first course then you take second and third for but for arcat menu each dish is priced separately means starter if you consume starter you have to cost or to price the starter apart then main course apart then last a uh, dessert apart dear students let us continue the selling price is fixed for table dot menu even if you take one of course between three you have to pay as you have consumed three courses for table dot but for arcat menu each dish is priced separately uh, the food is usually available at set time means the food is available for arcat for table dot menu the food is always available before customers ordering but for arcat the food is prepared is being prepared after customers order now let us be specific on our session our day session is table dot menu cover or table setup when we say table dot menu cover or setup is that table we place many table wares we have joint knife we have fish knife we have soup spoon we have fish fork we have sweet fork we have sweet spoon side plate we have side knife napkin water glass and the wine glass yes scroll down as you see that picture show you how you can set table dot menu cover i think you at home you can exercise this or you can take this picture then you exercise yourself for setting like that so that is the picture show you how you can set table dot menu cover professionally yes scroll down dear students for arcat menu cover or table setup there is a few table wares so we have fish knife we have fish fork we have side plate we have side knife we have napkin water glass as well as wine glass or other kinds of drink depending on what you have or on what you have prepared yes scroll down you see the arcade menu cover or stable setup also you you can exercise in your at home you can exercise for setting this arcat menu cover yes scroll i thank you for watching uh let me go back to the practice we are going to to practice what we have learned or what we have seen on theoretical sessions yes dear students as i have told you 
we are going to learn how you can set a table in practice. So let us start. First here I have table. I have also chairs for customers. I have here this table which is called side table which will help me to set, to put some utensils or equipments which will help me to set this table. But let me show you some linen used in a restaurant. In a restaurant we have different types of linen. Uh, this one is called service cloth or waiter cloth. Is using by or remaining by a waiter or waitress. This one is called napkin. A napkin is used by customer for wiping after eating. Here also I have tablecloth. Uh, table linens, they are, we have three types of table linens. First is called fleece linen. It looks like a blanket. It is heavy one that set on this table. The purpose of set that linen is to absorb, absorb some liquid which may follow far on this table. Uh, it help that liquid to do not disturb to the customer. Also, we have tablecloth. Tablecloth is the cloth which is pressed on table and cover the whole table. Also, we have what we call a runner. Table runner. We have a table runner. This one is table runner or table top up. Yes. Let us starting by adding those by laying the linen to our table. So you have this linen which is tablecloth. Unfortunately, we haven't fleece linen. The reason why we are going press this automatically. The fleece linen you may find on large hotel like five-star hotel or four-star hotels. So let us use this as table cloth. Yes. Let me ask to my assistant to help me show you how you can place a table linen or how you can display. Uh -huh. The first one, if you are a two, this you see is a square. You have to do like this, you fold into two parts. Then you observe the center of table, yes. The center of table, yes, like this. Uh -huh. This is the center of our table, as you see here. Yes, after laying like that, you have to see if this side is equal to this side. Yes, if you see is equal, you have now, you have to take this, this one, as you see, top one, then you lay like this. Uh -huh. This show me that or equal or edge of my table linen are equal. Yes, after weighing table linen, it is time for adding a runner. Table runner or table top. This one. But me, I prefer to add this table Teborana. Yes, help me. Teborana. Also, you have to put in a way it attracts your car customer. Yes, like this. You have also to see if those edge are 
equal. Yes, edge are equal. Now it is time for adding table mat. But today I prefer to set for one customer for show you how you can you can set table dot and R cut table cover. This one I'm going to set to start with R cut menu cover. You have to add this one is is called table mat. This is help is avoid for the, is avoid the the breeze from which may fall fall to this table to this table linen. Sorry. Then after laying this uh, table mat, it is time for adding some cutleries. Cutleries. Do not take cutleries with your hand because your hand may harm with some bacteria. The reason why you have to pick with a cloth, serving cloth, then you place it on table. Remember that I have told you for our cut, we have to set fish knife. This is fish knife, as you see, is special from other knife. You press it in right hand of a customer. Right hand of a customer. But you have to measure using your thumb to make sure if uh, you don't reach this uh, edge of this table. You have to make sure that you use this thumb. Then you do like this. Yes. Then you continue the process by adding also fish, fish fork. This is fish fork. We consider it as a fish fork. You put here also, also you do like this. You make sure that the space from here is equal to the space from here. Yes. Then you have to add sweet course. Sweet course, we have this one is called desert fork. Desert fork, you place in a way it, you, you see, this is, you do like this, then you place there. Huh? I think everyone watch what I'm doing here. Yes, you do like this. Then you add a dessert spoon. This spoon, I have told you that is used by customer for consuming a dessert course. You place it from right hand to above of to above in the center look like this then here i have a napkin folded napkin but i have to show you how you can fold this napkin is called dinner jacket napkin you do like this this is square then you fold to make a a Triangle, as you see, then you fold like this. Uh -huh. Then you do like this. You do like this. You see how I'm folding this napkin? I think so. You are watching what I'm doing here. Yes, do like this. Then, uh -huh. do like this. But you have to fold in a way you attract your customer but this is made before customers alive alive but me i'm teaching you how you can fold this napkin you know there are many types of napkin fold this is as i told you is dinner jacket napkin you see how it look like then you place it in the center 
or in the center between knife and and fork you see then it is time for adding uh, glasses glass we have red wine glass as i have told you is bigger than white wine glass also we have a highball glass this glass is used by customer for co consuming a soft drink like juice or like a carbonated water or mineral water let us start by this a highball glass you set it in front of knife fish knife then you add the reason behind is that we consume a soft drink before wines as you see you can set three or four kinds of uh, glasses depending on what you have on your menu or depending on what you have prepared also i have to add this one which is called white wine glass here you see yes then it is time for adding center pieces center pieces are those equipments or utensils used by those both customers around the table they can share but this one is for one customer but center pieces we have flower as you see a beautiful flower yes you put like this in a way it attracts your customer also you have to make sure it is in the center yes after you have to add those things are called shakers or clothes clothes we have one cloth inside there is a sort and second is inside there is a sort for improving tests you add also in a center then we have this is called ashtray it can be shared by customer uh, those customer who are maybe smoking but remember smoking is not allowed in the restaurant inside there are some special house for smoking or smoking area the customer if he wants to smoke he he can take this ashtray and go smoking then bring it back we add it in the center here as you see in the center then here i have a beautiful candle a candle with candle holder candle and candle holder this candle will help to avoid some flyers you add here in the center then we have what we call toothpick toothpick as you see also it can be shared by customers yes here i have also what we call beer folder beer folder is where uh, a customer put inside the beer when you are going to proceed a bearing process and beer holder you add here in the center in a way it attracts your customer yes then we have finally we have to add this one is called side plate this side plate is used by custom is where we press a bread for soup also is used for also is used for a uh, crumbing down yes we press it in the left hand of ca customer here with a bread knife this is a menu beautiful or designed menu you add for you add in the center the menu is show 
the food and beverage or drinks you have also with their price. Yes, I think I have done on about this table setup. You see, everyone can exercise at home for trying. When you are going to set table dot setup, also you have to add some utensils like additional of joint fork or joint knife here. Joint knife is placed here. Joint knife. Joint knife. Then joint knife and joint fork. You have to add here also for table dot menu cover. Also for table dot, you have to add table spoon or soup spoon. This one, soup spoon, you press it here near the knives in the right hand of your customers. Finally, you may add champagne glass. Yes. Now, you can come and see how it looks like. The table dot, table cover, or table dot menu cover, it looks like this. Uh -huh. There is additional of joint knife and joint fork with a other kind of a glasses. Uh -huh. Dear students, let us thank you for watching this video and we will see the other session which is called how to open red wine or white wine and how to serve it. Thank you for watching.